Actually, keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her. Oh shit. You have awakened new abilities, my queen. If you wish, you can activate them now. So I uploaded the... I all tapped during the loading screen to uh, upload the videos and when I came back it was in cutscene already. So uh, all you really missed is uh, that we managed to capture a Protoss. Uh, Abathur wanted to capture one to uh, study. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes. And if I let you live, you'll call your golden armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end we are both killers. Nefash's brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. She was intelligent, careful and tenacious, but she made one mistake. She ran away. I have always wished to feel Protoss bones snapping in my claws. May I? No, Zagara. Surely you do not think to show mercy? Violence is a tool. I use it when I have to, but a leader uses the right tool for the job. This is a Terran way to think. The Zerg do not use tools at all. To a leader, everything and everybody is a tool. Your power level has increased. A new tier of abilities has awakened. So now we get another really broken ability uh, even though I've been heralding the awesomeness of the band lanes this ability is fucking amazing like Kerrigan spawns six band lanes with time life which is which is good six just though six just isn't enough to get anything really done. Six is maybe enough to kill a bunker. Meanwhile, this is amazing. 100% increased attack speed and 200 maximum life for 10 seconds on a 25 second cooldown. So it's, it's, it's effectively a heal and attack speed boost and an invulnerability. Okay, not really a heal, but it's an attack speed boost and basically an invulnerability. Because you get 200 plus health, and while this is active, the any hits taken will detract from the 200 bonus health that you just received. So you, you, you get 200 bonus health, basically. And then when it's gone, you revert back to your original health. So... It's really difficult for a, any unit in this game to deal 200 damage in 10 seconds. So you use this on like 20 Hydras, it's pretty freaking sick. There is no other creature like you in the swarm. Where did your essence come from? The Overmind spun me from many species, a brood of one. What did you do after the Overmind died? Wandered the tunnels of Char, without purpose. Pharaoh, Queen of Blades, found me, made me Zerg again. You aren't Zerg, unless you're under someone's control? Without overriding will, am beast, less... 
Okay, so we're upgrades. Uh, I like this one. This one is pretty awesome too. The plus three armor really does increase your survivability quite a bit. This is kind of good too, but it's a little taxing on your micro. Like, yeah, you could micro roaches during fights, but you don't really want to. I mean, I'm not saying you don't want to, as in you shouldn't. I'm saying you, you get lazy. So you can either keep them alive for longer, or... Uh, have them compensate for one of their main weaknesses, which is their uh, decreased damage to uh, light. And you do encounter a lot of light units in this game. Uh, like zealots. Zealots usually tear them apart, and hydraulic bile helps a ton with that. So I'm I'm gonna go with that. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. Okay. Uh, next segment we'll do the shoot the mission messenger mission. Up. Oh, thanks for watching.